Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here with the Timeless Reading. Welcome. Okay, the first two cards that we have out are Four of Swords and also Ten of Cups. Four of Swords and Ten of Cups is going to be a time where there can be relaxing that's happening. This is meant to be a moment that's going to feel more peaceful than anything. So Four of Swords is relaxing, it's resting, you can be taking a break, can be just doing anything that would feel like self-care or rejuvenating, not anything that would be depleting your energy, but you would be in like a more peaceful state within this, or if you don't feel like you're in that place, it can be doing something that will sort of bring you into that place. So that being the track that you're on. You can even be taking time for yourself to do things that feel like de-stressing if you've been feeling stressed out or if you've just needed time to take care of yourself it can be a time that you do that or if you're recovering from something it can be a time where you recover whatever it is it's going to be like getting to that place where things feel all right for you mentally and then also having the ten of cups there if it feels like you're actually feeling happy with something you can feel a sense of contentment or you can be like wow i'm feeling so relaxed right now i feel like things are okay it can be like that type of thing when your mind is in this place of feeling calm it seems like it's easier for you to connect with your heart space where you can feel more more present to that to what's going on in that place of peace within you and that also means too that if there's anything that you've been trying to figure out as far as what your heart is saying to you it can be a great time to tune in because the things that that you sense and the things that you pick up at that time will be coming through very clearly in a very pure way feels like the compass really working in a way that feels clear rather than it moving this way and moving that way and that way again it, it feels like there's a very clear sort of connection between your perception and even psychologically what's going on with you and then the communication between that and your heart space and that feeling defined I'm seeing King of Swords and I'm seeing Queen of Cups. So it's the air energy and it's the water energy there. It feels like a very right thinking. You know when you just, you're in a space where you feel like you are thinking clearly. There's not a bunch of noise going on mentally. I'm seeing you be in one of those positions and it can mean too that you can be looking into stuff that you want to look into or you can be doing stuff that feels like you want to be present for those things. For some of you, there's somebody that you're, you've been connecting with. It can be yourself that you're connecting with. It can be um, my mind and my heart are on the same page right now. For some of you, you're feeling that within a relationship that you have, a close relationship that you have. King of Swords and, and Queen of Cups. If you are King of Swords, this means that you can be connecting with somebody that brings a lot of love or nurturing energy into your life, somebody that you can sort of talk about your feelings to. There can be important stuff that's coming up. You can be talking about the future with this person. It feels like a lull though, for those of you that this is a relationship, it can be a time where you get a moment with this person to talk about what's important and it will feel like a nice time of connecting. It feels like, you know, we have, work and we have this and that and everything's busy and there's all there are all of these things that are going on this feels like a moment where you're you're connecting with yourself yes and for those of you that another person is involved you can be having a conversation with somebody even about things that have to do with the future because ten of cups is is feeling like you can be very content with the way that something is presently or happy with the way that things are presently but this can also be a like this is where we're trying to go with things it can be that type of conversation i'm hearing contemporary so yeah it, it feels like something along the lines of that are being discussed here so there can be thoughts that are being discussed sort of where everyone's head is 
And it can also be emotional things that are being discussed or even just a sense of connection that you feel with this person for those of you that you have somebody along with you here. feels like a good space that you're in and for those of you that another person is involved it feels like both of you guys are in a good space with one another definitely future talk here for sure i'm seeing the magician come out okay so having king of swords and having queen of cups it can definitely be you with yourself for those of you that you know another person is involved in your process that you are connected with i'm seeing somebody that you're close with having both of these court cards are right next right next to one another here see how they're right next to each other i see this as being either like totally well it's going to be totally your energy and also it can be somebody else that's with you that's close to you see how there's kind of this like compatibility where there's the blue here and the red here and this person is then wearing blue and the red underneath i feel a sense of connection that you have with this person where there's this like complementary energy that you have with them and you can really be feeling that within your relationship right now it can be a place that you're in with yourself where you feel like what's going on for me mentally is really complementary for what i'm feeling and vice versa and you can also be feeling that within a relationship that you have too and this would be somebody that currently you're very close with this person. Now to have the magician, there will be talk about like what are we what are we trying to do together? It can be about an intention, it can be a shared manifestation that you have with this person. So for those of you that this is a relationship, this can be a time like a moment that you get with this person where it's away from all of the busyness and you're having conversation about sort of the the intention for things like where are we headed what's going on it can be a time where you're checking in with this person especially about like what's happening now and then where things are going having mercury here is going to be a time of communication with this person and especially communicating intentions of this is where i am with things and this is where i see things going and that will be like a shared conversation that you have with this person about what you want, about what you're hoping for. This feels really optimistic, what's happening. Definitely, I do get the vibe of checking in with this person. So you guys speaking with one another. Yeah, definitely about long, I'm seeing the emperor on the bottom of the deck. This can be about, mm, I don't know if I wanna use the word serious, cause I feel like that word is more subjective than anything, but it can be about things that things that matter to you. A conversation about significant stuff can be about where things are, are heading, and that can even be in an individual sense. Like, I have this going on for me right now, and the other person has that going on for them right now, and then us talking about like the compatibility of our goals, or like you're gonna do that part, and I'll do this part, and sort of how we're growing together. And can be that type of thing that's being talked about but it does feel like stuff that matters this feels like it's really the time to be able to have this discussion and be able to just communicate and check in with this person i will say something that feels significant like reading between the lines this feels like a time where you talk with this person that spawns from a place of things being good this isn't like we need to have a conversation right now or these are desperate times or like we're trying to problem solve this feels more like in a time that things are feeling all right or things are feeling okay or things are feeling good that's when this conversation happens i'm not seeing a bunch of stress be around you guys when you're having this conversation it feels like it's a time when things are all right and so it's not the conversation isn't like inundated with with stress and fear and anxiety or anything like this this feels like a very calm relaxed setting when you're talking to this person and communicating and it feels just like a very clear communication that you're having with them like there's not a bunch of stuff in the way so that's really how i'm seeing the the vibe here be characterized or the setting here be characterized
feels like it's also a nostalgic time as well. I'm seeing Six of Cups come out here. Okay, this is somebody that you have a deep connection with. I get a sense of familiarity between you and this person too. Like things just feeling right. You can too be having conversations that feel just sweet. It feels like you guys are in the same place. Well, like on the same wave emotionally. To have, to have the magician there and then also the six of cups, you can feel like this person is in like mutual reception with you emotionally. And then also having the magician here, it, it speaks about like letting each other in on where your minds are and also where, where your hearts are too. And I'm seeing that repeatedly throughout here. Like we have four of swords, swords, with Ten of Cups. Then we have King of Swords with Queen of Cups. Then we have the Magician, which is Air Energy, with the Six of Cups. It feels like this, this balance constantly of the Air Energy and the Water Energy, which again is gonna be like, what am I thinking and what's going on in my head? And then also like what's being felt. And it feels very much like you are sharing that with someone in a way where you can be feeling really connected, where things feel good, where things feel nice. I'm not seeing turmoil or anything like that. I'm actually seeing things look very peaceful. I'm seeing there be a sense of connection. I'm seeing there even be a sense of joy. It can it can just be one of those times where you feel very, very grounded and connected and present to the connection and it's not just a one-sided thing. This is like reciprocity that you would be feeling with this person. Like, oh, you're here too with me. Like I'm listening to you when you're talking and you're listening to me when I'm talking and we're we're chatting with each other about where things are going and, and what's happening. It's, it's one of those times where it feels like you can even be having a heart to heart with this person, having the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. There can be just stuff that's being shared. There can be a sense of intimacy. There can be that sense of connection and, and caring. And again, that checking in, I'm seeing like that type of stuff. So it doesn't feel like a very disruptive time. It feels like things are smooth in this moment. And things would feel good. Things would feel nice too. This isn't like a triggering time. This isn't a tower. It's not chaotic. It feels like, wow, things are really feeling good right now. And maybe you're also taking the time to acknowledge that too. Like, wow, we're doing all right right now. Or things are okay between us right now. Or stuff has calmed down now. Or like, I like where we are right now. It can be that type of thing. And you can even be having discussions about like how to continuously create that too with Magician and Six of Cups. Like this is feeling good. How about we take notes, not just when we have like things to complain about, which it's also important to, to problem solve. But I think just as much as it's important to know when things are not working, it's just as important to know when things are working. And this is a time when things are working. So it feels like taking note of that because it is important. I'm hearing even we had a really great day today, like that type of thing. Wow, and the chariot here too. Some of you, there could have been some type of conflict or just something that you had to work out with this person in order to get to this place. Chariot shows that that there can be things that have been popping up with you and this person. Like maybe not everything has been easy with them. Maybe there's been some stuff that's been going on, but chariot is a sign that shows with a sense of intention and even strategy and willingness working through things that no matter what it is that pops up you end up figuring it out and it feels like if if you don't have anybody i know i keep saying this but i just want to reiterate if this is just you with yourself it can be a time where emotionally and mentally you're on the same page so it doesn't feel like my head and my heart are in two different places and there's just this this conflict that I can't seem to resolve this is a time when you feel resolved and for those of you that there's a relationship that is reflective of what's going on within you you will feel too like hey you and I are figuring things out and we're collaborating and we're working through stuff when it comes up and like actually doing so successfully with the chariot here 
and that being really important that being really significant because it shows that like you and this person can work through things and there's a sense of confidence that you can gain through that experience One or two, if maybe both of you guys feel like, like you're, you're operating in a way that's related to what's important to you and you're finding too that those things work together as well. Because it can be a time when everybody's sort of stepping up and doing what they need to be doing and it can be a very empowering time too. Like, wow, look at how this person's showing up for themselves. Look at how they're showing up for me and vice versa. I wonder too if if some of you guys had something that was going on if some of you guys had something that was going on you could have um there could have been some type of break that needed to be taken i don't know how exactly this would come about but I, i'm seeing something that i don't know if some of you maybe went away with someone or you guys both had off at the same time or you were just able to connect in some type of environment that wasn't stressful or there weren't like distractions going on. It feels like that type of thing. Like the most, even if it doesn't have to be a literal vacation, it's, it's giving that type of energy where you know how things can be sort of more strained, you know, like you have your stress, like this other person has their stress, and then it can feel like things are constantly clashing, like maybe when you have time, this person doesn't, and then this happens, and then that happens, and then but like whatever else it is that you have going on, it, I don't know what was happening before this, but what I'm seeing us start off with looks like there's some type of away from the hustle bustle type of thing, and then that's where you see a lot of the progress being made with you and this person. And it feels too like I'm taking responsibility for like my happiness within my life. And it feels like each of you guys doing that. And then it also working for the relationship as well. And that being helpful. Some of you a child can be involved or two children can be involved. That's not gonna be the case for everybody, but I do want to recognize that because I am seeing that for some of you. Yeah, I, I get the sense that both of you guys, both of you guys have your own stuff that you're doing that you've been doing, and it actually looks pretty progressed from what I'm seeing. Like I'm, I'm seeing each of you guys be on a path that feels important to you as individuals. Like something about that, about like you being responsible for what's going on in your life and, and doing the things that feel important to you and being on a path that is worthwhile to you and also this other person too. So I get this sense of individualism here with both of you guys, but also too, I'm seeing you guys be close with one another. So it feels like you are you guys are also a team with one another as well. But something is striking me as feeling important here where there could have been a some type of, of break that happened or rest that happened or pause that happened that allowed there to be sort of a refocusing on like where are we going or even where am I going? What do I want to be doing? What's important to me? And first a checking in with self that happens and then it feels like a checking in with the relationship that happens as well. And things actually get moving, maybe in a way where it had been feeling like what's happening right now? Where are things going? I get the feeling too that it seems like communication needed to happen as well but only it feels like it doesn't happen when things are very busy it feels like a, a break or a vacation or a taking the day off or a stepping away from all of the busyness happened first and then it looks like 
there may have been a conversation that took place or just communication that ended up being initiated and it feels like it allows it allows things to sort of move forward maybe in a way where they hadn't been before because maybe even stuff within the relationship was put on hold because of how busy everyone was it could have been something like that and again if this is just you with yourself it can be i couldn't really check in with myself because i had to be doing all of this stuff and now this is a time where i get to check in with myself and that can also be something that's happening too where you have this moment where your head comes out like above the water above the busyness of everything and you're checking in like but like what am i what am i trying to do here like what direction am i going in what's important to me what do i need to be focusing on right now what do i want to be watering and nurturing like those types of things and even if it's not going to be something totally new or different it can be like how do i nurture what i have going on right now it can be it can be that in a way that maybe wasn't happening before yeah see the two of cups this feels like stuff with the relationship is being worked on this does feel like a something that's been going on for a while but something that there's been emotional presence within for quite a while Even though you can have your own path and this other person can have their own path, it also feels like there's a common path that both of you guys walk, that you have been walking, and that coming more into play here. Because I wonder if that was something that was going on more in the background and now it's coming more to the front. And you can feel like there's more of a focus being put on your relationship. And you know too how I was saying with the magician here it feels like you guys talking about the future and sort of where things are going and not only your individual manifestations of what you're doing within your life but also together like what are we manifesting together below the magician is the two of cups so it, i just feel like that solidifies like the manifestation of your relationship with this person and feeling feeling like you're in that space of emotional reciprocity with them where you guys are like oh we're doing this together we're we're building this together we have the same intention here and this is a co-creative manifestation and it, it does feel like things even i don't know if this is like things feel good the way they used to with this person but presently or this is just a now we're in this space of of connection and mutual reception with one another whatever it is it will feel like wow we're really on the same page emotionally and and mentally too because i'm seeing also the communication be an important part of this as well and it, it feels like there's there's something that's happening where there's an active investing in your dynamic with this person and like both of you guys realizing the compatibility not that it wasn't realized before but it, it feels like it may be focused on again or that it's coming to light like oh this actually does work with us that type of thing and i'm also seeing things look very very solid with you and this person so you can feel very stable within your relationship and you can have this feeling and sense of safety of this being a lasting thing for you as well Some of you, there's some past stuff that was being brought up that could have been broken down and spoken about and now can be the time when that actually happens. But this feels like, this feels more than anything like when you're in this place of mutual reception with this person, talking about what's on your mind and also what's on your heart it looks very much like when you guys are in this space of commonality of we're both present with one another and in a good space with one another future talk ends up happening so there can be a lot of conversations that end up surfacing about where you what the trajectory is of things what's happening with this person what's happening with me and then what's happening commonly what's happening together and it feels like a lot of that is happening and you can also too for some of you you can feel like you broke your breaking ground with this person for some of you you can feel like 
this is a a moment where you really see the progress that you've made and that can be something that's being looked into like look at where we are with one another look at how far we've come with one another look at like how the distance that we've covered together like we started out over there where now we're over here and then we also want to go over there as well you know it can be like that type of thing that's happening and it feels like this is really the time the time and the place to be doing that because it doesn't feel like there are any distractions it doesn't feel like there's a bunch of stuff going on it feels like it feels like you get to focus on this and nothing else is getting in the way of that and that it really helps bring something back to life or reconnect something or nothing is getting in the way of us being right here with one another. It's like that type of thing that you would feel very much and you can feel like if there was anything that you needed communication wise or there was anything that you needed emotionally, you guys are in that place with one another. And that will feel very gratifying too because you'll feel that sense of connection, you'll feel that sense of joy, that sense of ease even, that sense of there's not confusion, there's not turmoil, both of us are in the same place and that feeling really good. So, and really just, this feels more fortifying and strong between you and this person too. Um, like there's not, there's not this level of things being unsure, this feels more than anything, like now that we're at the end of the reading, like you and this person feel completely solid. I'm seeing a bar of solid gold. That's what the energy of this is with you and this person. Like you guys are both honoring your individuality, but I'm also seeing this, this like, it's, it's like a binding with you guys, but not in any not in any type of unhealthy way. It's more like we're a team with one another. That's what I'm seeing. Like your lives are interlaced with one another, like interwoven with one another, and that's happening. And also, it's not only that, you guys are both also honoring your individual paths as well and doing what's important for each of you. So you have your common path that you're on with this person. Both of you guys are definitely on the same page. And then also you each have your own stuff. So you feel like you get to share the stuff that you want to share and you each have your own thing, thing things that are important to you. And none of these things are conflicting with one another. I'm seeing just like everything be able to sort of work with one another and that be what's happening. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.